50 plus years of state softball in Fort Dodge and the tournament just keeps getting better. Here comes Van Meter in the 2A semifinals. Look out. Whoa, Bulldogs out to a fast start against Central Springs. Macy Blomgren sends one high and deep. That's a three run home run. Van Meter up three to one. To the third, another threat, Ella Reimers. Lays it down, Lauren Wallace scores, error in the field. Here comes Maddie Waldorf. Van Meter takes a 5-3 lead. It's 6-3 later, bet button on the button. That's an RBI single, Bulldogs pouring it on. And turns out they'd need every run. Here comes three more, courtesy of a Waldorf blast. Van Meter hangs on 10-9, dogs to the championship. Class 2A, there's Katie Murphy of the I-35 Murphys. Hey, good to see you, Katie. Uh, not the Roadrunners day though. Top seed Iowa City Regina brings the bats. The Regals scored early and the Regals scored often. Regina wins big 13 to one. Martinsdale St. Mary's top seed in 1A facing Wayne in the semifinals. Blue Devils roll quickly. Campbell German to right field. Brindley German and Ellie Baker race home quickly. It's two nothing. Uh, to the third, Abigail Hughes finds the gap. That's another run. Comes in on the RBI single. Then it's Hadley Pearson. Pearson drives it off the fence. And Martinsdale St. Mary's can't be stopped on this night. Campbell German throws a one hitter. Martinsdale St. Mary's wins 10-9. It's on to the finals. The Centennial Jaguars entered state softball as the top seed. They looked the apart. Mark Freund has more. Ankeny Centennial and Southeast Polk. Neither has ever won a state softball championship and only one would have the opportunity to play for one. It's the 5A semifinals, both the Rams and Jags wearing black and a fast start for Centennial. Two on for Maddie Ott and she uncorks. A shot Dinger Dee Dee is proud of. Three run blast gives the Jags a first inning lead. To the fifth, more long ball for Centennial. Jordan Kennedy skies one deep, and the Rams run out of room. Solo shot for Kennedy, it's 4-1 Jaguars, and that was the start of a wild two-out rally. Centennial cranks out hit after hit and scores eight runs with two outs. It turns a 3-1 lead into an 11-1 run rule victory. The walk-off by senior Sidney Morris. Ankeny Centennial is into the 5A title game. We always talk about taking advantage of any opportunity given to us, and the girls right there um, just took advantage of opportunities that presented themselves. Finding a way with two outs to score eight runs uh, was pretty impressive. It's so exciting. I mean, we've come short like at almost every year in the past, just just by a little bit. So we keep chipping at it, and it's great to finally, yeah, finally be here. Centennial will face Pleasant Valley for the 5A championship on Thursday. In Fort Dodge, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports. Mark, thank you. Class 4A, great semifinal between Winterset and Fort Dodge. First inning, Dodgers jump out front. Mackenzie McElrath base hit. Maggie Ellsbecker scores. Fort Dodge builds a 3-0 lead in the first few innings. But here comes Winterset in the sixth. Jenna Young lift off right over our camera. That's a solo shot. Winterset gets two to take a 4-3 lead. Bottom seven, last chance for Fort Dodge. McElrath bunts, Hope Alstott on the run. Dodgers throw it away, Alstott scores, and it's tied at four. We go to extras, there's the proof. It's the 10th inning, and that's where the Huskies take control. Molly Breeding finds the gap, RBI double. Winterset gets two for the 6-4 win in 10 innings. The seven seeded Huskies are in the 4A championship. It's so rewarding. Uh, that's a good team. Fort Dodge is a really good team. And uh, the fact that we were able to pull that out and have that much energy coming into all the rest of those innings, especially because this gets tiring after um, the innings. It was amazing. I mean, I. No, nobody would have expected this after last year, losing five seniors. But I mean, it feels amazing. And we've done it before, so we're going to be ready. The Norwalk Warriors in a two zip hole against upset minded eight seed North Scott. Norwalk small balls its way back into the game. Grounder by Bailey Birmingham scores a run from third to tie the game at two. Then Naya Holbert 
gives the Warriors the lead with another grounder, some alert base running, and Norwalk scores four in the second despite no balls leaving the infield. Fourth inning, Warriors up one. North Scott's Adeline Johnson with a grounder. Back up the middle, hit them where they ain't. It's off the glove. Two Lancers score. North Scott takes a 5-4 lead. And the Lancers win it 6-4. to four. So That knocks Norwalk out of the championship bracket. So a really exciting week here for baseball and softball.